Welcome back to my channel Mathematics and today we have a really interesting quick and relaxing challenge 15 plus 21 times 5. Maybe the easiest challenge you've ever seen. We have only addition multiplication so everyone learned this stuff in the third or fourth grade. Everyone can easily solve it so right now I suggest you to pause the video try to solve it by yourself right now. What is the correct answer to this challenge? Three options A, B and C. So choose one option what do you think is the correct answer to this challenge and write your option down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to check our answers in the end of the video and let's check our school knowledge, let's check our algebra skills. So first of all, I want to start with this first interpretation because a lot of students solve this question like that. This is our first interpretation. What do we have right here? We have 15. Here's our challenge. 15 plus we have 21 and times 5. Here is our challenge. And a lot of students say, okay, right here from left to right, let's solve this challenge. So what do we have right here? 15 plus 21, which is equal to 36. Yeah, 36. And we have times 5 right here times 5, which is equal to 180. Yes, over right here we have 180, we have this option, this is option option A. So a lot of students solve this question like that, they don't know about order of operation, they solve this challenge absolutely randomly. But in terms of math, we need to know about order of operation, because we can't solve this challenge randomly. This is really bad thing in terms of math. We need to know about order of operation, because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. For example, let's look at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to this PEMDAS order of operation. And let's scan what do we have right here. We have first a parenthesis, so first we should evaluate the expression inside parenthesis, because parenthesis has the highest priority. Next we should evaluate exponents, next we should evaluate multiplication division group, and the last step is addition subtraction group. So in a strict order from the top to the bottom, higher position it means higher priority. Okay, so in this second interpretation let's solve this challenge according to this PEMDAS order of operation. So we have 15 plus 21 and times 5. Okay, here's our challenge. And let's look at it. What do we have right here in our challenge? We have only addition and multiplication. And obviously, if you look at first and this PEMDAS, we don't have parentheses. If you scan in from, from, from the top to the bottom, so if you scan parentheses, we don't have parentheses in our case. So we can easily skip this part. We don't have parentheses. What about exponents? We don't have any 15 square, 5 cubed, 21, 21 to the fourth power. So we can easily also skip, the, skip this exponents parts. So the next step is multiplication division group. This is one common group right here. So let's scan where do we have multiplication and division signs. Let's look at it. So we have multiplication sign right here. So this is really great. So we find our first step because as I told before, higher position means higher priority. So we should first, we should multiply 21 times 5. Okay. So this is our first step. We need to multiply 21 times 5. So we have right here 15 plus 21 times 5 equal to 105, 105. Okay, and let's go to the last step right here. Obviously, we don't need our order of operation because this is very basic addition, but if you, if you are scanning the whole uh, order of operation, so we need to mention that right here we have addition sign right here, so this is our addition, but addition is after multiplication. So we need to add, at, uh, as our last step, we need to add in the end of the in the end of the solving this challenge we need to add 15 plus 105 and we don't have subtraction so 15 plus 105 gives us 120 and really interesting moment right now because a lot of students confused about this about this solution we don't have this 120 right here so how it happens and uh, there are a lot of students who goes back to this wrong answer 180 they say that 180 is a correct answer but I want to say that this is very really bad solution because this is randomly method we saw this is random method we saw this challenge absolutely randomly from left from left to right we don't care about uh, order of operation we don't care about addition multi application, we just go from left to right. And if you look closely at this solution, this is a very bad solution in terms of math, because addition and then multiplication, this is a very huge mistake. This is a great solution with parentheses. If we have parentheses right here, then this is solution is great, because then addition have, has the higher priority than multiplication, because addition is inside parentheses, and if we have parentheses, we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses at first. So it doesn't matter what we have right here, inside parentheses, we need to do it at first. So right here we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses in this case. But in our case we don't have parentheses, so right here 
This is a wrong answer for us. 180 is wrong answer. What about option B? 156. Obviously, this is not the same as 180, and also it's not the same as 120. And what is the correct answer? Correct answer is uh, 120 because we solve this challenge according to a correct order of operation. But what about a correct option right here? We have option C, 5 factorial. Let's remember from school. 5 factorial, this is a product from 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. And let's look at it. So right here we have, we have 2. We have times 3, we have 6, we have times 4, 24, and we have times 5, we have 120. So this 5 factorial, this is the same as 120. So right here, this is absolutely the same and the same value. 5 factorial, this is the same as 120, and 120, this is a correct answer according to PEMDAS. So a correct answer according to PEMDAS is 120, and a correct answer according to this test is option Option C is a correct answer to this to this challenge. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of challenges every day with basic math, pre-algebra concept, and also really interesting, easy, and relaxing challenges every day. So I hope you will enjoy it. So thank you for your time. See you in the next videos, and have a great day.